Okay, first let's take a look at the, our notes. Um, here's your note handout here. Uh, print it out or make your own as we go along. Um, and then this is the presentation on rhythm and pattern. Again, I'm going to go through this pretty quick, so feel free to pause when you need to um, fill in some of the notes. All right, first let's get a definition of pattern. Pattern is the principle of art that refers to a two-dimensional decorative visual repetition. All right, there are things that are repeated that creates a pattern. Okay, and these things are called motifs. A motif is the individual unit that are repeated, unit or units that are repeated in a pattern or a rhythm. Now the yellow part you do not need to write. Sometimes each motif is the same, right? So we can see a repeated motif here, the flower is repeated. Sometimes each unit can vary slightly and other times the motif changes completely. So there are different ways that you can um, change the motif to create different um, motif, or I'm sorry, different patterns. Okay, the next is, uh, next definition is rhythm. The principle of art that indicates and creates the feeling of movement by the repetition of one, some, or maybe even all of the elements. So by repeating uh, an element or elements, you create the idea of like a visual movement and that creates a rhythm. And then the term visual rhythm leads your eye through the art piece. Okay, so think about like beats in a music. Um, like beats in music, right? So the negative spaces are the rest and the positive space are the sound or the beat, right? So you got boom, space, boom, space, boom, space. And your eyes move through the artwork in kind of that rhythm, okay? So this is a, a, a good way to see the difference between a pattern and a rhythm. So we get a pattern on a shirt, but if you have a repetition of shirts, that creates a visual rhythm because your eye is moving from one shirt to the next, right? And that creates the idea of a visual rhythm. Now there are different types of visual rhythm. Okay, let's look, go through those right now. Now the first one is gonna be a random rhythm. And in a random rhythm, you have a motif that is repeated in no apparent order, right? There are no regular spaces. Um, the motif is totally random, it changes, it's different. Um, and you can think about like splashes or cracks or even crowds of people, right? So if you think about an, a random rhythm, the motif as a person, well, each person is different. And then the spacing in between each person is different. It's completely random, right? So this is a good example of a, a random rhythm. Now, this is something that you can draw in that empty box, right? Just a bunch of swirly, squirrely lines creates the idea of a random rhythm, okay? Another example of a random rhythm. More examples of random rhythm, right? Motif changes, it's different, spacing is different, etc. Okay, next we have irregular. So just the opposite of random would be a regular rhythm. And this has identical motifs, regular spacing, right? Identical and regular. Often used to organize things, think about parking spaces or grids, right? Completely regular, completely planned out, maybe you could say boring, right? Because it's the same thing repeated. Same motif, same spacing. Next, we have a flowing rhythm. A flowing rhythm is created by wavy lines or curved shapes. Actually, let's go back. So this is something that you can draw in that empty box for regular. Okay, so something like this, something that's regular, same motif that's repeated. Okay, uh, back to flowing. So created by wavy lines or curved shapes. So you get the idea of flowing lines are gonna create the idea of a flowing rhythm, right? We can see that here. You have the lines that are repeated, flowing, repeated lines. Okay, so now what could you draw in that empty box? You can draw something sort of like this, right? You're talking about wavy, curvy lines that are repeated over and over again. That would create the idea of a flowing rhythm. Right, this is like uh, old paper stacked up that creates an interesting flowing rhythm, right? Those curved lines that show the separation of the pages. Okay, next we have an alternating rhythm. Now an alternating rhythm is, um, it's a planned rhythm. It's not like a regular, but it is like planned regular changes. So alternating can occur in several ways. You can use a second motif, right? So the motif goes back and forth, or maybe you could change the place of the motif or change the space between the motifs, but it's completely planned, right? So think about like brickwork, how it changes, but it's planned, right? And we see the example here on the screen 
we have two motifs and they alternate kind of like a checkerboard and a checkerboard would be a perfect thing for you to draw in your empty box for an example for regular. And then lastly, we have a progressive rhythm and this is where the motif changes each time it is repeated, right? So a gradual change. And the life cycle of a frog is an interesting way to show progressive rhythm because it changes slightly from each step of the motif, right? So think about from egg all the way through the tadpoles to the adult frog and all the different changes that happen uh, that they're slowly. So this is this um, is a good example of a progressive rhythm, right? This would be a good thing to draw right here. If you have thick line that slowly changes into a thin line, right? It progressively changes and gets smaller. Okay. Those are your notes.